hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel travel free in this video i'm going to explain you about mccb molded molded case circuit breaker in the subject of basic electrical engineering uh, this video is going to be very simple why because i hope you have already watched the video about mcb and elcb so if you have watched those videos it will be very easier for you i mean to understand the terms and all it will be easy got it so let us see how this will work it is similar to mcb but has more capacity that is uh, when compared to mcb it has it can handle more capacity it can handle more amount of current suppose in our houses whatever current we are using is not same as the amount of current being used in an industry or in a shopping mall and commercial purpose right so in those cases we will be using these mccb where the usage of current is more okay uh, so this is the diagram so from this diagram i'll tell you what is normal condition and uh, what is abnormal condition see in case of normal condition what will happen very simple phase from phase from phase from phase it will go to the through the closed contact it will go to the solenoid to solenoid to the bimetallic strip and from bi bimetallic strip to load and from load it will go back to the neutral phase through closed contact solenoid solenoid to bimetallic strip and from bimetallic strip to load and from load to neutral this is the normal condition so the, the flow of current will be in this way okay so closed co uh, phase closed contact solenoid bimetallic strip and to the load and from there it will go to the neutral this is the flow of current in case of a normal situation but in case of abnormal situation that is uh, when there is current leak uh, i mean when there is current overload situation or when there is short circuit situation what will happen so in abnormal condition also we have two categories okay first is when the current is increasing gradually that is uh, step by step step by step current is increasing suppose first 1 amperes of overload second second 2 amperes of overload 3 amperes so by step by step if current is slowly increasing then what will happen if the current has suddenly increase then what will happen we will see first when the current is you know slow when there is slow increase in the current so whenever excess current is flowed i mean whenever excess current flows what will happen is so when it comes to the bimetallic strip the bimetallic strip will get heated up because metals will expand on heating when you heat a metal it will expand so on heating it will expand and it will bend okay it will deflect right so when it bends then it will hit the trip bar this is the trip bar okay it will come and hit the trip bar so this bimetallic strip will bend in this way and it will come and so like like this it will become it will bend and it will hit this trip bar when it is hitting this drip trip bar it will move from its position that is it will come like this so here we have contact right this contact will be broken it will displace in this way it will displace in this way okay the trip bar will displace and this contact will break when this contact is breaking when the trip bar is coming like this obviously this will raise up that is this will become like this okay this closed contact will become like this so that it becomes a open circuit here no contact will be there this will become an open circuit which means that no current will flow okay so that our load will be safe no uh, harm is done to the load okay so this is what happens when the current is slowly increasing i'll tell you once again from the phase the excess current will flow and it will come to the bimetallic strip because of the excess current heat will be produced and the bimetallic strip will get heated up and when it heat uh, when it is heated up it will bend in this way usually it is in this way right but because of the excess current it will heat and it is it will bend in this way when it is bending it will hit this strip bar when it is hitting this strip bar the strip bar will displace when it is displacing this connection is there right this connection is disturbed so the trip bar will become like this initially the position is like this but when it is disturbed it will bend like this and as a result this connection also will be disturbed so here it both are closed right which means it is a closed contact but what happens this will raise up which means it will become an open circuit 
okay so when it is becoming an open circuit ultimately no current will flow okay this is when when it is the uh, current is uh, you know increasing slowly suppose if there is in sudden increase in current then what will happen so when there is sudden increase in current in the solenoid we have the uh, metal windings right because of the presence of metal windings sub magnetic field will be generated okay so magnetic field will be generated inside the solenoid when the magnetic uh, i mean near around around the solenoid so magnetic field will be generated because of this magnetic field this plunger this is the plunger which is of metal this plunger is attracted towards this magnetic field okay this plunger is attracted and when the plunger is attracted obviously again what will happen this plunger will get disturbed and this plunger is also connected to the trip bar right so then trip bar also will get disturbed that is trip bar will displace again this connection will break as a result this connection will become open same process but here bimetallic strip will heat and it will hit the trip bar in case of slow increase here the plunger will be moving this side and it will hit the trip bar okay so the bending of trip bar and the breaking of connection and here becoming open uh, circuit everything is same but the thing is in case of slowly increase in current the bimetallic strip will bend and uh, the bimetallic strip will get heated it will bend and it will hit the trip bar in case of sudden increase the magnetic field will be generated around the solenoid and this magnetic field will attract this plunger towards itself and as a result the strip bar will get displaced when this strip bar is disturbed obviously it will become a open circuit okay this is about maulet case circuit breaker see i have written here if you want to take the screenshot you can take in case of slow increase and in case of sudden increase excess current metallic strip will heat and because of that it will bend it will strike the trip bar the trip bar will displace the contact will be disturbed and it will become the open circuit in case of sudden increase the current will be passing through the solenoid and because of that current magnetic field will be generated and the magnetic field will be attracting the plunger towards its side so when it is moving towards the magnetic field in the uh, it will hit the trip bar and the trip bar will get disturbed and the same process will uh, the contact will dis disturb and this open circuit it will become open circuit okay uh, so this is all about mccb guys why i have explained it very shortly and very quickly is you have already watched the video about mcb and elcb you understood what circuit breakers will do what is the mechanism so our ultimate goal is to make the circuit open so that no current will flow through it right so that is what we did here okay i hope you guys are clear with this in the next video let's learn about types of fires and cables and in the next coming videos uh, let us learn about uh, thing batteries power factors and all uh, so this chapter is more of theory and the coming topics will be actually easy not you know these topics are also easy if you are capable of remembering the diagrams if you have if you can remember the diagram nothing is uh, hard in this so that's all let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic thanks for watching the video till the end